Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Spyderco64 back um, at it again with uh, yet another NASCAR Authentics review. And today we're here to review um, another um, diecast that I got from um, NASCAR Authentics wave number um, eight. So today, so today we have Austin Dillon's American Ethanol, uh, Darlington Froback. And obviously, if you're a die, and obviously if you're a NASCAR fan like I am, you would know that this is a throwback to the late Dale Earnhardt Sr. Yeah, this is like a throwback to um to his Wrangler car, which um he won the Southern 500 in back in 1970-something, or I don't know. But, um... But, yeah, and I do admit that and yeah, I must admit, this is a pretty good looking car, if I must say so myself. This is one of the few cars um I was pretty sure I was gonna get. Now the reason now I'm pretty sure that um these two cars I'm only gonna get is really because both of these cars pay tribute to both three both to both um NASCAR seven time champions, you know, Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt, you know. So yeah, that's pretty good. If I must say so myself. So anyways, um let's actually so yeah, let's take a closer look at the car. One thing I keep forgetting in that is and yeah, I guess I should point this out. No Monster Energy logos, as always. E fifteen American ethanol. Ethanol, so um yeah, and um if you guys don't know, um, American ethanol powers, uh, powers the sun, powers the sun, powers, like, the fuel. Like, they basically power the fuel for, you know, Sununka and all that stuff. And then you got, alright, you got the headlights right there, Chevy SS3, and, like, there's an old RCR logo. And then there's some, um... Then there's um, some other uh, contingency sponsors. Goodyear, Goodyear Eagle. And then we got um, some little sponsors right there, like 3M. I think there's like a Coca-Cola one. You know, and this thingy right here, which is all on the Chevy SS's. I don't know what it is. And we got the three right there, which has always been the same. The AA service logo, and then obviously, I think we got a couple of Coca Cola logos up here. It's obviously, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, get Austin Dillon right there. Alright, hold up. Oh, that's neat. Oh, okay, okay. So we got Austin Dillon's name right there, and then the race winner sticker that he won at Charlotte with. You know, so hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. So yeah, then we got real tree logo right there, American ethanol, Dow, Reham. We got an American ethanol like gas cap right there. American ethanol right there. So um yeah, American ethanol. And American ethanol back there, the three. So um yeah. So, yeah, and let's compare this to another Austin Dillon car that I have, and that is the regular Dow um, car. Now, obviously, um, if I remember correctly, um, my Austin Dillon diecast review did not get as many views. So, does that prove that people don't like Austin Dillon? Also, one thing I noticed with my NASCAR diecast reviews, and that is... There are some drivers that some people don't care about. Like, for instance, like, Ryan Newman. I mean, I made a video on the Caterpillar car and then the Granger car. And I think those cars look really nice, but people don't watch them. What, is it because it sucked? Or is it because the car sucks or the driver sucks? To be honest, I would say Ryan Newman, he would be a good driver, but he's just an RCR equipment, which, um... Uh, the only drivers who have found so much success in that equipment is Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Kevin Harvick. 
So yeah, and obviously, if um, it's not obvious, this is supposed to be, this is kind of, I wouldn't say that this is like, this really resembles like, you know, the original number three, but it is black, but not black all the way. So um, yeah, I wonder if they're ever going to do a Dale Earnhardt throwback from like from one of his modern black cars. I don't think they'll do that considering maybe like like um maybe they'll do like a certain one maybe like a daytona 500 win car i mean that would be kind of awesome but maybe some people are not gonna like that especially the die hard dale and hard fans which i was a dale and hard jr fan and um and yes i do have to admit that dale and hard senior i is was the best is i think it probably is one of the best um, NASCAR drivers to ever live. You know, I mean, seriously, he had so much success. And he sadly tra tragically died in that wreck in Daytona. So, yeah. But, yeah, and this car, it really does a great job on throwing it back to him. You know, even though this is not, like, um, like, um, how I say it? this is not like an old, like this is not like like this is tri this paid tribute to his first cars, you know. And then take a look at the hood right here. This is Austin Dillon right there, E15 American Arsenal number three. Now what do I now? If any of you are wondering, will Austin Dillon win another race or pull off another fuel mileage win? Not so sure though, because well, well one is well. Which I don't know if he's if he is gonna win another race, but I don't know if that I don't know. How well RCR equipment and the um, Camaro body is going to do. Um, maybe Austin Dillon will make the playoffs possibly on points, but I don't know. But um, yeah, and there's also Ryan Newman in this paint scheme too, which I didn't get that card because but they're too sim because they're very similar. Plus, Ryan Newman should have had his own paint, had his, should have his own throwback. But yeah. Um, nonetheless, um, hope you guys enjoy this review. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, and comment down below. Um, you know, comment down below. Um, down below. Um, down below. Well, how would how would how would it feel if Dale Hart was still alive to this day? So yeah. With that being said, guys, hope you enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, you know, subscribe for more. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.